Association is suing Communication Security Establishment Canada, or CSEC. The suit accuses the spy agency of violating Canadians' Charter of Rights and Freedoms. This lawsuit takes on Canada's domestic spying regime. The lawsuit claims that the Communications Security Establishment Canada, or CSEC, has conducted illegal searches and seizures of Canadians' private communications and personal information. This is the first lawsuit in Canada challenging CSEC's domestic spying practices, which we argue are illegal and unconstitutional. For more on this story, we are joined by Kaylee DiPuma, counsel for the BC Civil Liberties Association. She joins us from Vancouver. So, Kaylee, uh, why did your organization decide to launch the lawsuit against CSEC? Well, we all know that there's been an ongoing uh, global debate about this kind of mass surveillance uh, with the recent revelations about the NSA in the United States. And this is really BCCLA's commitment to make sure that that debate continues here in Canada. We believe that CSIC is engaging in unconstitutional activities that infringe on the rights of Canadians, and we think that it should be stopped. Now, this uh, story came to light in the last few weeks, but as far as your suit goes, I mean, what can you tell us about how long, or as far as you know, how long CSEC has been in operation doing these things? Well, it's difficult to say, given that C6 operations are shrouded in secrecy. We do know that the National Defense Act was amended in 2001 to allow CSIC to collect Canadians' phone calls, emails, and text messages if they're communicating with someone abroad and the Minister of National Defense has authorized it. We also know that there was a secret ministerial directive that was issued in 2011 that allows CSIC to collect metadata information about Canadians. Your organization says that these actions taken by CSEC will have a, a chilling effect on all Canadians. Why do you think that is? We say that when the government can intrude on our private communications or gather information about who we are talking to, um, that that will have a chilling effect on our uh, free expression here in Canada. Um, there are lines that should not be crossed. And here, when we're talking about a spy agency that is surveying Canadians and they're doing it without any real accountability, um, that's obviously of grave concern to our democratic rights and freedoms. This will be the first case of its kind, somebody challenging CSEC. I mean, so how difficult do you expect it will be, especially in light of the fact that there's no precedent? We don't anticipate this to be an easy case. Uh, while there hasn't been a lawsuit challenging CSEC in the past, uh, our courts are familiar with uh, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. They've interpreted uh, the rights around unreasonable search and seizure and freedom of expression. And we think that those cases um, and that case law will be applicable here when they're looking at what CSEC is doing. So what's ultimately the goal here? That the, the federal government will make changes to how CSEC uh, operates? Uh, absolutely. If the court finds uh, that C6 operations are unconstitutional, as we say that they are, uh, Parliament will have to amend this legislation to ensure that Canadians' rights to privacy and free expression are respected. And what's the next step then? Well, we are going to court, obviously. We filed our lawsuit today. Uh, we will, the government will have to uh, respond to that lawsuit. Um, and then we will be before the courts here in Vancouver. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Kaylee. Really appreciate it. Kaylee DiPuma of the BC Civil Liberties Association.